All right, let's take a look here at container runtime interfaces. And to understand that, we need to understand uh, what's um, on top of it and what's below it. So the first thing uh, when we think about um, uh, this kind of this kind of layered approach is orchestration. So you would have something like either Docker or Kubernetes. And so these orchestration systems will use a container runtime interface. Now, at one point in time, Docker just meant containers, right? Um, but uh, there was work to be had where they started separating out all these components. And this is basically where we see container runtime interfaces and container runtimes underneath, which are the actual containers. And so the idea here is that, um, you know, Kubernetes would be utilizing something like either container D um, or it would be using something like CRIO. So when we talk about container runtime interface, you'll notice that's why I never had an icon. Uh, earlier in the course when we were talking about container runtime interface because the runtime interface is one of these two, okay? So container runtime interface allows you to run a variety of different container runtimes. And so the CRI actually is doing things like pushing and pulling images and supervising containers. It's not the thing that creates and runs the containers. What does that is the container runtimes. And the containers that we care about are OCI compliant, so from the Open Container Initiative, and we have two types, native runtimes and sandbox slash virtualized runtimes. And the major difference between these two types of runtimes between native and virtual is isolation. So for virtualized, it can provide security benefits through isolation because it's virtual. So you can have more controls around it. Um, so, you know, hopefully that helps make sense that you have an orchestration and that's going to choose a container runtime. And then from there, it's going to choose um a, a interface and then from there it's going to choose a runtime but i think by default when we use kubernetes most times what it's going to be using it's going to be kubernetes it's going to be container d and then it's going to be run c and there used to be a lot more container runtimes but i had to look at each one and i found so many were like no longer maintained and so i think that this is like the new list that you'll mostly see is like run c nabla and uh, uh, kata okay